It's Sunday, 19th of January, and we are awaiting SpaceX's launch escape test in just under 17 minutes and eight seconds. The test today is to demonstrate the effectiveness of our launch escape system. Now we are currently go for launch from pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Isbrucker, Falcon Principal Integration Engineer here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. And I'm Marie Lewis with NASA Public Affairs. The purpose of today's test is to demonstrate Crew Dragon's ability to safely fly astronauts away from danger and separate from the Falcon 9 rocket during an in-flight emergency. Now SpaceX's launch escape system is a first of its kind with its eight Super Draco thrusters built directly into Dragon to push the spacecraft away from Falcon 9 in case of an emergency. You can think of it as a rocket on top of a rocket. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off, simplify, aim high, go Falcon, go Dragon. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stay with the roll to the T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 with the Crew Dragon capsule is heading east from pad 39A. Everything looking good right now. As we get ready for max dynamic pressure, stage we are now throttling down. down the first stage engines on Falcon, the Falcon power 9. And telemetry nominal. Everything continues to look good. We're approaching the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle is supersonic and passing through maximum dynamic pressure. You've heard we're supersonic, we're through max Q. We're getting ready now to throttle the engines back up on the first stage. Stage one, throttle up. There's the call out. Okay, the major activity coming up in just over 10 seconds. Shut down and drag and escape from the Falcon 9. Five, four, three, two, one. Miko, drag and launch escape initiated. Dragon's away. And you can hear some really loud uh, cheering in the room. Okay, you just saw a bright flash there. It looks like Falcon that may be Falcon 9 breaking up. We've got some loud cheers um, here in Hawthorne. The, the folks that just watched live, the dragon separate. The next milestone we have coming up at 2 minutes, 25 seconds. Um, we're expecting to see the trunk jettison. So that claw that connects the trunk to the capsule is going to separate, allowing Dragon to uh, separate from the trunk. That's coming up in 15 seconds. And we do have the report, loss of telemetry from Falcon 9, first stage. And there you just saw the trunk jettison again. Some really loud cheers here in Hawthorne, California. This test is looking great so far. Nice view from the back of the Dragon capsule. We're also trying to see if we get the view there on the right-hand side from the aircraft that's orbiting the area. And there they are. Drogue chutes are out. Again, some major cheering going on here as every stage of this test unfolds. Now we're going to be getting ready for the main chutes to deploy. Now main chutes will be coming up fairly quickly. There are four main parachutes. These are the newest Mark III parachutes. They're each 116 feet in diameter. We deploy them about two kilometers above sea level, 6,500 feet above the Atlantic Ocean. We're getting good views from the Dragon and the airplane, showing the two drogue chutes. Now we're just waiting for the main parachutes to be deployed very shortly. And we have the view from a different camera on Dragon showing the four main parachutes. 
Now they are deployed in a reefed condition. That means we're keeping them fairly shut to avoid shocks and now we're slowly opening up the four parachutes. Great views coming okay. off of the Dragon camera on the left and we can also see the four parachutes from the airplane on the right. That is a really cool view. Nice view of the orange and white parachutes as they're opening up into the second position and then going to fully open. From fully open, we'll be descending about 20 to 25 feet per second down to the Atlantic. I think we may have heard a call out of 100 meters to go. Yeah, I just heard that too. Yep. Now those four parachutes are actually gonna be released from the capsule after splashdown and they'll be recovered too. And we are down. Down a little bit early, in fact. And there you can see the recovery boat beginning to approach instantly. I'm gonna try to talk a little bit louder so you can hear me over the folks here. Uh, this has been a really exciting thing to see.